was a very generous introduction. Okay, I'm going to try to fit this into five minutes, so I'm sorry if I go over. So I was thinking uh, to paint a picture of what it's like to be a volunteer and how that fits into my life. So there's like three elements of my life that are, that are really important and fund fundamental to me. So one of them is the CFA life, and, and then the other one's the employment and, and, um, and hobby life, and then the other one is the hub my family and my support. So CFA life, like Lex already mentioned, you know, I grew up in a family of CFA volunteers um, and, and you know, been there for 15 years, done lots of different positions in my time at Brigade. I've been a lieutenant, looked after the juniors, you know, lots of things. Now I'm the, um, you know, Brigade Community Relations Officer, so I look after all sorts of things, community safety and operational firefighter. So, um, that, that side of life is, is really important, but it has to work in with all the others. So my other life, career, I work here a couple of days a week, which I absolutely adore, and, and I do film and television wherever I can get a gig. Um, the other section, which is, which is just the hub of these two things, is my family. So I have three children, they're two years, four years, and six years old, so they're all crazy. You know, I've got one at home full time still, keeps me totally on my toes and, and makes everything, you know, worth it. But it has to fit in for them logistically. And then I have my husband, Paul, who is a massive core and support of what I can do. Without him, I don't know if I could balance these other two things. Sometimes these things get one might get heavier than the other, and, and that becomes a juggling act. But, you know, if you can balance them all, everything works really neatly and nicely together. And, and some of the opportunities that are created through being a volunteer can make those things work really well in together. So some of the courses that I've been offered, like Challenge and Fireline Leadership, all those things give you great fireline, you know, or, um, firefighting skills and great leadership skills, but they also work in amazingly with, you know, your career and your, your life goals and, and values. Um, and there's so many other opportunities like the Moomba experience. That was a crazy experience and something that I'll never forget and totally life-changing and, and also supports things in my career and performance and also in being a volunteer. It's opened up some amazing doors. Um, and, you know, some of the other things, I was able to speak for the, uh, for the media launch for Fire, Light, uh, for, uh, Fire Action Week and, and I've got my Captain Koala in April show, which a lot of you have seen, which, you know, also supports you know, my, my career, and my home life, because my kids love me doing that, and also, you know, CFA time. Um, just to paint a picture of what it's like for me at home, the ripple effect of going to a fire call. So something that happens a couple of times a week. So, you know, I was thinking of an example, Friday night, perfect, perfect um, example. So it's my son's fifth birthday on Saturday, and I had to make a cake. And he picked out of the Woman's Weekly book a clown. I'll just rig that up. So at nine at night, I'm rigging up a clown cake. So my pager goes off at, at about 9.30 or quarter to 10, but I haven't finished the freckles around his face. So, you know, that kind of a thing... Um, you know, I, I'm not able to go to calls all day long. I keep my pager on 24 hours a day, seven days a week, but I have to, you know, select where I can go. I can't go if I'm here at work. I can't go if my husband's not at home. So I go sort of between 6 p.m. at night, you know, when he gets home from work till 6 a.m. in the morning till he can go to work the next day. So in that time slot, I'll, I'll drop everything to go to those calls because they're important. Um, so I drop down my freckles and out I run. And Paul's amazing. He is so in this with me at, that he'll go out. He warms up the car for me. We used to have a gate. He'll open the gate for me. He's been seen in my spotty dressing gown at 3 a.m. opening that gate when I had my one tonner that you had to warm up for ages. It's totally supportive of it. So, you know, I go to the fire call. And I do my thing and then I come home three quarters of an hour, an hour later. In the meantime, Paul's seen the cake, so he fixes up that, you know. He continued doing the things that I was doing. Um, and, and then I got home and it was late, but I still had to finish my clown cake. So, you know, the ripple effect um, is, is something that it doesn't just stop it going to the fire call and doing my thing. It's what happens at home, the logistics. If you've got kids, oh, okay, I've got to go. Don't forget, oh, tea's on there and, you know, oh, get those pyjamas out there. So, you know, some of those things you have to be 
prepared and planned for um, to make it all work. But my three elements are very important and I'm very proud of, of being able to make all of those work together. And, um, and, and I'm very proud of being able to talk here about Volunteer Week. It's an important time. So thank you for having me. Thank you very much.